In Scopus, you can select subject areas to search in, although you may prefer to have all subject areas selected, as this will broaden your search. Then you can type your keywords into the search box. Remember to truncate with an asterisk and join your synonyms with OR. You can select where to search. We're going to search in article title, abstract and keywords. We have lots of results for this because it's a very broad search. So we'll perform another search this time for our species and the Latin name for our species is a phrase so we'll enclose it in speech marks. All our other selections have been kept. Still got a lot of results. Again it's a very broad species search. So we'll click on the search tab and we'll combine our searches together. Do this in a very particular way, which is explained on the database. The results for our combined search are displayed, and we have a lot less results, but still quite a lot. So we'll limit it to publications since 2007. Click Limit to. Still a large number, so we'll limit again, and this time we'll limit to review articles. Now we just have 65, which is a manageable amount to look through, and we can sort the records by citations. So we can see the records that have been used the most in other research, those that have been cited. And to see the full text of an article, click on the Check Webbridge button and then click through to the journal. And then to get the full text, click on the Get PDF link. Then you can save or print the article. Back in Scopus, to see the full details of a record, click on the title link. There you can read the abstract and also see the papers which cite this paper. From here you can add this record to your list. And you just move through the different records using Next and you can add them to the list or check WebBridge as you go. Then click on My List to view your list. Now you can download the PDFs for all of the records you've marked. Click on download PDF to do that, but only the abstracts will display if we haven't subscribed to the journal for that article. To move the references into RefWorks, click on the export link. RefWorks is already selected, then click on export again. and the records move into RefWorks.
then you move them into the folder you've created within RefWorks.